Hello and welcome to um, to um, let's see which threads I am going to I am on to actually um, yeah I'm going to do um, am I correct spiritual yeah I am on the day four and six and this is narrative spreads and I'm going to start doing the um let's see i'm going to do the three spreads all together i think so let's start with spread one and um let me just um see i'm going to shuffle the cards so you can see wh what i do so it's like doing this in a perfect way and narrative uh, spreads are um key uh, component to past life exploration, knowing where and, wow, when and what happened to you in the entire point. It's a good idea to develop a few uh, running narratives as you uh, deliver, uh, delve into other aspects of past life exploration such as uh, fears um, and blockings uh, watch carefully for repeating uh, cards and patterns from those spreads um, from those spreads throughout the rest of the workbook. That's interesting. So for spread one, you will uh, develop a basic narrative spread. Um, spread two will um, focus on one key event um, from a past life and spread three focuses on one particular deed you uh, committed in a past um, in a past life those deeds can be negative that makes sense if we are looking for information um that will help us evolve, uh, sorry, evolve, but the deed could be something good if it le uh, left a lasting impact uh, on your energy and or karma. So that's very interesting. And let's do the spread one. And here we have up to six cards. Okay. So let's um, let's shuffle and see. I'm going to shuffle. So up to six cards. Okay. And once more and then I think I am fine. Okay. So card number one did want it to come up. So I'm going to take that. Two. Three. Four. Five, six. So let's go with this six card spread and let me turn and let's look at the cards. 
Um, I'm going to show one by one. I think that's the most easiest one. And let's start with the first, oops. <laughs> let's start with the first card and <clears throat> question. So card number one. Mm. Where is um, card number one or two? Where and when? Where and when? Okay, so here we have where and uh, Europe. You receive Europe. Okay, that's interesting. Oops, I forgot it. I was too deep. Sorry. <laughs> Jesus. So, Europe, and then when? Wow, the, the full. Oh, sheesh. Sorry. Um, this will absolutely represent you, because when they, she have written that when you receive that card, it will absolutely talk about you. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> that's that's uh, interesting. Let me remove the cable, because it's on. So, um... Let's go with um, um, with where and when. So where were you? And there you received. Uh, what did I say? Did I say anything or didn't I? So here, where, where and when, right? Am I correct? Yeah. And you receive uh, Europe, and that is uh, card 17, which talks about the star, the star, okay, card 17 and the star. So let's go into card 17. And here is the star. So that's where, okay. And um, the root for this card is, um, sorry. Yeah, root, uh, energy, hope, guidance, inner um, light, soul's uh, path, soul's path. And then um, it is, uh what did i say where and when or did i say the opposite uh let me just uh, rephrase because i forget and um let's look at card number card number one and two where and when so where is the first card and let's see where the star actually was. So, uh, place, uh, Europe, alternatively, Germany, uh, association of the gu uh, guiding star and um, the migration to, from uh, Europe. And uh, when, okay, so the card number when, and you receive zero here, the full. And uh, let's look at the full because it will tell, I guess, the timing. And the full's timing, time, Renaissance, Renaissance. Wow, that's interesting. So not sure what to answer there. Wow, okay. Um, but yeah, um, let's hold the 17th century a little bit because you had that before, okay? So that's card number one and two, where and when, what a combination. Uh, I am a little bit impressed that the um, fool did come up. Let's look at card number three, 
where it will say the question is uh, what happened to me during this live okay what happened to you during this live and here you receive where i put the cards okay it's here so this is one one and two and number three so here you receive number three very interesting and uh, loving woman is what you're receiving and this is uh, queen of cups see you had queen of king of cups before now you have queen of cups so you're still holding on to those things but what happened to you so let's look um, at the queen of cups and um, the judgment okay um <laughs> so queen of cups uh showing love to everyone so you are being you're sharing love emotions feelings so here comes your emotions back again which is very very interesting and let's look at the queen of cups because for me the queen of cups show uh respect um shows that this is a person that absolutely cared for other people, for other people's needs, without any selfishness at all. And you were loved by people. You were, com you were loved by people. But let's see. Uh, and the root uh, energy for this is emotional woman, uh, loving woman. Okay. uh is that uh, she the negative uh sa the negative side of the queen of cups is that she can be too emotional yeah and sometimes depressive emotional problems are uh, a higher risk with a cup uh, person this may uh be case if the card is reversed okay but it's not so you are quite emotional you're giving love showing love and that was um main it, it it had a meaning and the question um of course was um what happened to you well it doesn't reveal much of what happened to you it's more maybe you were looking for love and to receive love to be loved uh, because you were absolutely uh, uh, that was important for you uh, when it comes to the feelings let's look at the card oh geez and do you remember that i said that you were having trouble with relationships before when you had the king who was i <laughs> jesus um so here you receive uh finland fin wow floundering man and you receive a uh, king of wands who were you king of wands so again the card is saying that you were quite um high you had high position of uh, wealth and, and and who you were and let's go to the wands and the king king of wands uh, est establishing uh, an organization so you were very busy with establishing things organizing um maybe having an organization as it says in here um well you're you're receiving high court cards so um won't be easily to wands let's go to the king uh king of wands so the king the root for king of wands so you um is uh, 
leader, so you were leader, ruler, cherry, cherish, and charisma, charisma, sorry, charisma. So you were some sort of a ruler, leader, and that was important for you to be. The floundering man is one who, who does uh, not give him, uh, sorry, who does not give his heart to one woman uh, and is more inclined to um, choose its last fall uh, desires rela uh, ra rather than the stability of a mm, loving partnership. <laughs> okay, so it means, um, I, I don't know if I mentioned this or if I did it yesterday, I'm not sure because I was trying to do the recording so many times, so I don't remember what I have mentioned or not, but I saw in your some past life reading um in the first uh presentation spread i think it it was but i don't know if that it, if i got record that or not but i saw that your sexuality means a lot to you it had a very strong meaning then and um as i mentioned that um i didn't believe that you were married to a proper i mean to the person that you wanted to be married to i think that you were married to someone just because of others thoughts and traditions um and maybe even religion but i think that you had relationship at a side um uh, absolutely um and um the question was uh, uh card number three what happened to me that was was it number three one two three really one two three and four what happened uh yeah i did read that so let's go to number five and see because number four was um who was i and I can't put more cards together with that. Mm. I am thinking if I can. And then number five talks about who was with me. Who was with you? Number five is asking who was with you. So here you have um, uh, murder. Oh, geez. Uh, Ten of Swords. Here is something that is coming back again. Who was with you? Okay. So, uh, Ten of Swords, who was with you? Let's look at Ten of Swords. And um, so, Ten of Swords. Nine, Ten of Swords. Hitting a uh, rock bottom you had people who were quite jealous of you, maybe envy you because of the way you were, because of your strength, emotions, and as you were open and maybe finding yourself in even couple relationships, you got uh, enemies, I think. Um, let's look at the Ten of Swords because I don't remember now what cards went i need to look at the familiar that's eight nine and ten and here you have um what did i say um because i have looked at this before for you i know that and that is number 19 10 and one so you are a leader and here you see uh, i i did i did read in the beginning of the cards that you are a leader so you were a leader, you were quite positive uh, as a human being. You brought a lot of joy towards other people um, as you have the sun and you were a mag you have the magician, which talks about that you, um, um, you try to see people in a positive, good aspect um, and were quite 
busy, I guess, with what you were doing and what you were up to. So who was with you? You had a lot of, I think uh, you were in situations where uh, that was complicated uh, in in a lot of forms. And there were times, as I mentioned earlier, you were depressed and, and hurt. And then the last question in this spread talks about Mm. Yeah, who was with you? And then number six talks about how did I die? And you have the murder there, but let's see. Let's look at what card. Twin flames. Oh, wow. Ten of cups. Ten of swords and ten of cups you have. Wow, that's very interesting. And how did you die? Um, let's see if that will say anything about that, which I don't believe it will. Somehow, Ten of Cups. Meeting a soulmate. How did you die? You died when it comes to love and feelings. And it doesn't surprise me. I think that you got hurt. You got hurt by uh, by someone who you felt like a soulmate, who you felt that you loved. Maybe that person murdered you because you have murder there or left you and that just killed your feelings and your being um, because you felt like you lost everything because that person meant so much uh, for you. So... Um, so yeah, it didn't mm, it didn't answer how you did die or anything like that, but yeah, murder, of course. Uh but still I feel a little bit confused. Uh I I I wonder if I went through the same with um the past live readings uh, if I had the same problem there. Uh, when I did do for another client. So, let's uh, shuffle the cards. So we have Ten of Swords and you have had it twice. You had the Magician, uh, sorry, not the uh, the Fool, which uh, will talk about you. Um, that's interesting. And um, King of uh, Cups and Queen of Cups, which is very interesting as well. Both uh, emotional people who cared for other people, we shared love, were passionate, strong, were organized, were wealthy. Um, so it's interesting. So I did shuffle this a couple of times and um, let's pick just some cards. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven. I don't know if it's seven or eight cards. Let's pull out eight cards in case. And let's look at them. I know that she's doing some spreads here. And I'm not going to do the spreads because they take too much of place. And I don't have... Um, I don't think that my phone will pick up um, the spread. So let me just change the pin so I will know where I am uh in the book so the second spread narrative spread uh let's look at the question number card number one card one what happened and then card two uh card two how did it uh, impact me so what happened? And here you have, uh, I did draw uh, brother. Okay. So what happened? Uh, Page of Swords. And for me, this talks about you were quite creative, uh, sharp. And something happened when it comes to your brother. So I guess you had a brother. And I want to use now 
um, a deck, and pool. Where did I do? Where, where did I put that deck? Hmm, that's weird. Honestly, uh, where did I put that deck? I did have a deck where I did do you a session. And uh, why is it not here? Okay, that's super weird. Um, I'm not getting this. Yeah, maybe I put it over here. Let's see. No, it's not. Yeah, I did. Okay, <laughs> sorry. So let's um, let's uh, let's use. Um, I'm trying to find Okay, I'm going to use this one. So, let's see. Let me just put the cards back. Okay, I'm making a mess. Of course I am. Sorry for that. Oh, well, it's good that you're not seeing what I'm up to. Um, okay, so now I made it. So let's, uh, I want to pull some cards and ask. So um, what happened? And I'm going to use the Bohemian... Um, uh, I love this deck of cards. It's absolutely amazing. And um, what happened? You have a brother there, but I want to. I'm going to pull a few cards just to see what happened. What happened? So what happened was, here is one, here is two, here is three, here is four, here is five, and six. So let's pull six cards. Um, and I was about to tell you what cards I was using. And this is the Bohemian Gothic Tarot by Baba Studio. I love this Baba Studio decks. Um, so what happened to you? Ace of Pentacles, uh, together with your brother. Uh, so you have their uh, work ex expanded, growed. You, you grow, you get to grow when it comes to your work. And um, uh, six of, you get to be successful. And that success was very important for you. Uh, King of Swords. See, you have... Um, um, so I guess you were elder. Um, and you were sharp. Ace of Swords. You got to make decisions that were important for you together with your family. Five of Pentacles. Where this talks about fight. About the economical situations. And you got... Um, it's like you, 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 you got apart or away from your family. Um, page of wands, uh, which for me talks about that. <coughs> there were complications uh, when it comes to your family. And, and somehow what I feel is that you, you did find yourself um, in arguments when it comes to people. Uh, about maybe how you were raising your family, your children, and you got to make a lot of decisions which were important, and and um, you did do you did do that together with family, um, but the fam somehow I'm getting that you had a brother that was envy you that was envying you because you here showed emotion love maybe you were helping 
his uh, him um without maybe him knowing it because this is what I'm getting so I'm just going to walk with that and he wasn't happy about you doing that made up some decisions that were not happy and there were arguments in between him and his uh, uh wife where a child came uh, came in uh, in between okay so um that's what happened so, um, now let me put the cards together and look at the next question. And the question, the next question is, um, uh, which card is this? So this is the first, the second question, um, is about, let me look, let me find the second Okay, the second question is, um, uh, what happened? Yeah, that's the second. Yeah, here is second. Um, how did it, how did it happen? Uh, sorry, how did, how did it impact me? How did it impact you? And here you receive, um, uh, to before uh, Christ, you have to, and this is uh, the high priestess. How did this impact you? The high priestess is what you're having there, and high priestess, you know, she is all about being um, spiritual, uh, having knowledge, deep knowledge. It impacted you when it comes to secrets and holding things within. Uh, yeah, priestess. It's only... Wow. So, let's look in my magic cards. At the high priestess. And here you have... Um, with the high priestess here, you have what cards are... Can be built together and that is card 20 11 and 2 um 20 that's uh, judgment so you felt judged um you felt judged and that is how you felt that how did how that did impact you so you were judged by people by family members and uh, people were envy you and also, um, I said 20, right? Uh, you, you, and 11, 11 is what? Um, Eleven is, no, this is, why can't I find 11? Okay, this is the tower, so that's not. Def, the hangman is 12. Um, no, 11. Yeah, strength. So, uh, and sometimes strength change place with justice. So you felt uh, that someone was unjust to you, but at the same time you were trying to be tall and strong through all that, which was important um, so that you would not show a shameful you know, face to someone. So you, you tried to stand tall, which, was, uh, uh, which had an, uh, an impact on you so the next card let's see one one two card number three so card number three talks about where are you my dear here uh what caused this to happen what did cause this to happen and i would say your good heart your feelings but here you receive as an answer, 
Congo. Okay, that's Africa. And Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups. Um, what caused this? And um, that's Swords. Yeah. Seven. Uh, Nine of Cups. Having a wish granted so you are trying to grant someone's wish you're trying to help someone and you saw that that someone was struggling and you wanted to give a hand which was important for you to do and as you were emotional you would give a hand to people uh even family members and and people maybe who you didn't know you were try you try not to be judgmental mental to and to look down at others you were the opposite you were the caring so um um so that's the answer for that question let's look at the next question which is uh, um what is the next question um what was involved or impact who was involved or impact that's number four is it are we on number four one two yeah so here you have uh, as an answer you have again europe and this is 17 uh, which is the star uh, let me just look at the question because that was okay who was involved or impacted and you have the star there so let's look at the star uh, and that's 17 star fortune that in in instills yeah instills your fate in your path i'm not sure the meaning of this to be honest fortune that instills your fate in your path okay i'm not sure about that um who were and let's look at the star in my magic i call this as my magic cards because they're almost like that there is the moon, the sun, uh, and here the tower, so I went past it. So here is the star, and with the star we have the cards. So you were, so you have here 17 and 8. Again, justice or strength, being strong. And 17, you know, is the star. Um, it doesn't answer exactly who was impacted. Um, I guess people who, you know, were at the same, on the same uh, path with you when it comes to work, business, money and deals. Uh, were impacted um, because of the star that you received that so that's you know that that is for fame that for me can be sometimes meaning for fame and and so on and let's go to number five which talks about uh, who was uh, responsible who was responsible for all this who was responsible and here you receive philan floundering men and he this is the second time that he's coming up and that is king of wands floundering man and let's look at floundering man again king of wands uh, 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 uh. here is wands and king of wands is establishing an organ organization so this was a person that could have been 
you know, someone who was your partner in work, as I mentioned, as I thought before. So I guess that that's correct. Uh, but who was uh, responsible? Your partner of work, the one that helped you to establish your work. So this could have been, you know, a family member, but also a partner just by, by work. Um, and let's go to card number six. And card number six is saying, how does this event manifest in this life? Um, wow, that will be interesting. And... Um, this is just six cards there so how does this manifest and you have number four and that's father wow emperor emperor so it is manifesting through your dad through your father jesus christ uh wow i am a little bit stunned honestly because it doesn't surprise me at all uh jesus um let's look at the uh emperor empress emperor talking uh taking charge and control yeah your father likes to be in charge and in control um today so this is about today this is not about what was um and um let me just look at the emperor and what cards goes with him the emperor and with him goes uh, 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 uh 22 0 13 and 4 22 0 and 13 so um, it means that, you know, it is the full. So he would give, he would, you know, he, he tried to be positive and all. Somehow with this person is that he would, this is a person that would listen to other people and do what other people ask out of him instead of listening to himself because of his own low self-esteem. And the jealousy uh, from this person is high. I'm sorry. Oh, Jesus. I hope that this is wrong. Let me know. Um, what did I say? Oh, my God. Um, <clears throat> uh, the emperor. Oh, that's the hierophant. Uh, the empress. Where is the emperor? Yeah, it is the emperor. So I said 22, 0. And 22, that's the world. Uh, that's the world, the fool, and 13, which is death. Uh, this is a person that would change uh, things around without thinking how that would affect the rest of the family. Uh, just for their own ways and sake as well. So a lot of selfishness. And this is what have impacted you in, in this life now. And this is what have left a print, but also uh, made you to make a change on how you want to be. Um, and as you are emotion, emotional, you could never understand your father's behavior because of um because of the being angry because of uh exploding like a bomb is what i'm getting with that card um and being quite selfish and 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 and, and um um and jealous you know and he was very, he was influenced. Uh, now I'm tapping in and receiving a little bit from above. So he was very much influenced by, I don't know if it's his mother. 
but also an, el an elder lady that can be a grandma or something like that. But I'm not sure. But he was impacted by his own mother, uh, where I can feel a lot of... Um, Jesus. Uh, okay, forgive me for all what I'm going to say, but this is just what I feel. This is what is coming uh, from above. But this lady was very selfish, uh, cared for her own you know, what she owned and what she didn't. And uh, she was like, um, like a snake um, who would guard her belongings very, very much. And she would put people into, in through some sort of trouble because of some, some, uh, some sort of belongings, if I'm not wrong, if the information isn't wrong. Uh, please let me know if you understand this. Uh, comment below. It would be nice if you could uh, comment on the other videos below as well because it's always interesting to... Um, uh, it, it can be interesting for other people to read as well, you know, not only by you saying to me. I know that you resonated with the first video that I have done and I know I don't know if you have listened to the second uh, video but please do comment or on the underneath it would be nice if you did I would appreciate that um, okay so let's go to um, um, did I look through number five um, yes I did um, and then number Number six, did I, did I, how does this uh, event influence in this life? Yeah, I told already. So it, a family person did influence you in the past. That could have been a brother or a father figure, but I think more as a father, fatherly figure, a uh, brotherly figure in the past, more brotherly figure in the past than uh, a fatherly figure somehow. But your father was involved then as well. Um, and this is something that is coming through in this path, in this life. And the extra cards that I brought um, in here talks about, again, you see the loving woman. I did uh, take them out because I thought it was going to be eight cards reading, but it wasn't. But here you have the loving woman. So it talks about your emotions. This have affected your emotions, your feelings, your heart. And you felt sometimes like an outsider in your family, um, looking on each and everything and what was happening. And sometimes that might have made you even angry because of people not taking taking more responsibility. So you felt like, okay, suit yourself, whatever, you know. So let's say, for example, if that if that's your mother, um, you would, you know, let her, sometimes you would feel sorry for her uh, and because of what, what all she went through. But um, then there came time where you were tired and um, just said, suit yourself. And you, you, you became like an outsider in your family, sort of, in a way. Oh, geez, what a, what a reading this is. Wow. Okay, I am a little bit amazed on what is coming um out here uh, and let's do the third reading and um let's see um oh before i'm going to do that let me just look before i close that um what did i do what could uh what should uh what what caused me to do it? Okay, that's the same questions. Okay, nothing special there. Uh, okay, so I, I didn't miss anything. So let's just shuffle, shuffle and um, bring out some new cards and let's see what will follow up. Um. Okay, and now once more, and then I'll pull some cards. Oh, 
Okay. So. One. Wow, that was a flyer, so that should have been there. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And let's take one more if in case. How many cards? Eight. Hmm. Yeah, it's eight cards. So I think I did take eight cards. So let's put this aside. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight cards. So let's turn this. And here you receive the hermit. Oh, wow. Let me just have a zip on my tea. Mm. Yes, you heard me. I have a cup of tea. Uh, whew. Okay, let's do the... Let's do the third um, narrative spread free. And um, so card, let's look at card one. What did I do is card one and card two is how did it impact me? What did I do? So you were lonely, your loneliness was um, hurting you mm. Evo evolution of the soul uh, home uh, body I'm not sure what that means evolution of the soul and home body i um okay i don't know what that means so i'm just going to skip that because that doesn't give me anything uh so the question was uh, let's let me just rephrase the question the question number one what did i do uh and i don't feel it answers um it answers anything so i will uh <laughs> I will take a couple of cards from the Bohemian Tarot and let's just see, what did you do? Because I don't feel that I received any answers at all. So I am going to do like I did. So with the Hermit, and I'm going also to look at what cards goes along with the Hermit. But let's pick six cards. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Okay. So, uh, but before I read the cards, oops. Um, let's look, uh, the hermit. Let's look up the hermit. Number nine. I went too far. Here is the hermit here. Okay. And the hermit talks about the cards with the hermit is 19, which is the sun, 10 and one. So, one and magician, uh, 10, sorry, 19, that's, that's the sun, 10 is uh, the, okay, I am looking at the wrong card, sorry, here is the hermit, I was like, what the, hmm, I wanted to say something, I'm not um don't like using bad language um so with the hermit goes cards 18 only 18 yeah 
18, which is the star. Again, the star is coming through. Um, so, um, and the question was, uh, again, the question was, um, what did I do? So you felt lonely, uh, you felt hurt, sad, um, and emotional. You did try to, it's like you left a scene because a hermit, a hermit is on his own, leaving people behind, going within his uh, shelf uh, to seek knowledge, uh, but also can um, physically move and be alone somewhere where people maybe not would wouldn't know him uh seven of pentacles so you you try to rebuild rebuild things which uh, uh did crash for you so that you could uh uh so that you could um save up some money and and travel go see and this is what exactly what i said before i did look at your cards this is so sick um so you gathered money you left you traveled uh you got tempted uh you you did walk on an impulse um you felt like um you wanted to sort of move forward but you were there is an anger there is a curiosity at the same time and the lovers um and you are split in your thoughts in your mind towards people towards uh the people that was uh, was around you and uh, you felt somehow stuck but yet you wanted to hold on to things you didn't want to leave um uh your things behind so i think that you traveled you met another person um that you somehow had some sort of a relation with for some time being um you were trying to establish the economical situation uh and think you wanted things to move forward when it comes to to life you were split in your thoughts in your way and you met someone else and at the same time, you were helping, I think, as well, helping someone else. Or maybe someone did help you um, to stand on your feet again. Okay, so card number two. Let's look at card number two. And card number two talks about... Where are you? Card number two. How did uh, it impact me? How did that impact you? What happened? And here you receive um, Spain. Oh, so maybe you traveled to Spain from some country. Ace of Pentacles. Um, you got to be successful again uh, with a new start. You got to grow uh, and expand again and build up a new way. Abundance of wealth. You got rich. Ah, uh, again. So, you know, you fell, you did fall, and then you rise up again, you met someone, maybe that person helped you to reach your goal again. Okay, that's number two. And let's look at question number three. Uh, where are you, number three? Here you are. And what could, uh, what caused me to to do it what caused you to do <laughs> to become rich uh, and wealthy what caused you to do and here you receive um, oh this was upside down okay um, you receive 20 the Middle East 20 and that is um, uh, of course uh, judgment what made me what made you to do well you maybe were was judged by other people and by other people's uh, thoughts and you didn't want to be judged uh, and you uncovered the truth 
about something as well. And as you did uncover the truth about something, someone who tried to, um, I was about to say, maybe you found out truth about someone who was trying to deceive you and you stopped it in time, I guess. I don't know if that's, that, that's just what came to mind. So I'm just going to go with that. Wow, that's interesting. And let's see, um, the next question, that was number three, right? Um, what uh, caused me to do it? Number four was, what was the outcome of my action? What was the outcome of your actions? Uh, and he, one, two, three, yeah. So number four, what was the outcome of your actions? And here you receive um, depression. Uh, and that is 10 of wands. Wow, that's interesting, I have to say. What was the outcome of my actions? Depression. Depression, sadness, pain. But let's look at uh, Ten of Wands. Mm -hmm. Hitting rock bottom. You felt like you did hit the bottom in, in things. No, that sword, sorry. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> uh, forget that. Uh, managing uh, several burdens at uh, at once. So you got to manage a lot of burdens at once. And maybe you did fall on your face. Who knows, as I did read that uh, first. So maybe that should be there as well. Who knows? So, um, so yeah, that's interesting. And that was... Um, Ten of Wands and Ten of Wands. Let's see what goes with Ten of Wands. Oh, that Swords Wands. Here is Ten of Wands. And let me put that away because that's so heavy. And my hands are hurting. So here you have 19. That's the Sun and Mag Magician. Okay, so you got to be in charge. You, you got to be in charge. Um, of the difficult situations, you try to be optimistic. Um, you wanted to change the fate to step into something bigger and higher. Um, it's like change your for fortune and, you know, that's what you did. Um, so, yeah, that's interesting. Okay, so let's look at um, card number five, right? One, two, three, four. Yes, card number five. And card number five, um, it's down. What did I not understand at, uh, at the time? What did you not understand at the time? And here you receive, um, oh, this is upside down. Did I put them upside down? No, I shuffled them like that. Okay. Um, what didn't you understand? And here you receive Indi in Indigenous Man. And that is King of Pentacles. Indigenous Man. Wow, that's interesting. Indigenous, Indigenous King of Pentacles. Let's look at you, my sweet. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Providing well for a family. You didn't understand how much you pro did provide for the family and how much you gave and you struggled. You put yourself through... Um, you put yourself through a lot of uh, difficult situations that could have been trouble in trouble and um by facing that facing them you helped your family on the feet 
not only yourself, but your family and um, people who you absolutely care for. And it wouldn't surprise me if that's the same uh, today as well. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think so. Um, okay, and um, that's interesting. So, um, let's see. Card number six is... Um, who influenced me? Who did influence you? And here you receive um, Australia, and that is the sun. Joy, people, people's company, uh, you know, other people's thoughts, uh, and so on. But let's read the sun. Um... Happy times. So happy times, happy people, gatherings, uh, and so on. And let's look at the sun. Oh, I went a little bit too. Um, the sun. And let me look at the sun here. Uh, what cards, oops, goes with the sun. And that is, of course, 19, 10, and 1. Yeah, so the Wheel of Fortune, change of wheel, how things would change around you um, and all the effort that you would put, you would see the outcome of it and um, how you would put yourself through difficult situations. So uh, that's interesting. And gathering of peoples would be joyful for you. Um, so number seven, Number seven is talking about what uh, what hopes or fears influenced me. What hopes or inf uh, or fears did influence you? Oh wow! And here you receive broken heart, broken hearted. And that's, uh, that's free of swords. Uh, so what influenced you uh, negatively was joy. But um, what was hurtful for you was um, what, uh, what hope, hopes or fears influenced you, uh, influenced me. Uh, yeah, so that's you. And that is um, broken heart, sadness, uh, being stabbed, being deceived in one or the other way. So, uh, yeah, let's look at the Three of Swords and see what cards will come. Uh, if I'm not wrong, I think that one of them might be, this is two. Let me put this down, half of a deck. Um, 21, 12, and 3, yeah. Your family disappointed you. But also, you know, you knew that you had to step into um, something different. Um, and you knew that you had to receive the hangman. Yeah, you, you were disappointed and, and hurt when people would not see what you have achieved. And when they would do that and applaud you, you would be happy and joyful. So, you know, you cared when people said thank you and enjoyed whatever you brought them um, or shared and so on. So that's interesting. So, um, and when you were sad, you would be sad. And number eight, that's... Um, the next card is number eight, and it says, "What, uh, what events influenced me? Uh, what events? What events did influence you? Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, rational man. Rational man." 
King of Swords. So, uh, a person, people who would come from another distance, I mean, another country or another state or, you know, from a journey, people who you didn't know, but um, would be passionate and all that. And they would influence you um, in a lot of ways. Uh, oh, there is no, uh, nothing for that card to look at. So, yeah. Um, and let's look at the uh, King of Swords in here. And King of Swords is all about laying down the law. Uh, this, uh, the decree. Yeah, decree, laying down the law and decree is what it says about it. So laws were important. And let's look at the last one. Um, one, two, three. Let's look at the last question in here, which is, um, number nine and i have to take a card how does this uh, manifest now how does this manifest now so let's pick a card and i'm going to randomly pick a card how does this um, manifest in this life and here you receive that's interesting so here you receive um <laughs> oppression and this is eight of swords oppression this is how it is manifesting itself oppression mm, let's look at eight of swords uh, seven uh, eight of swords imprisonment <laughs> imprisonment Okay, going to jail, uh, locking your feelings within. Uh, <laughs> that's sick. Okay. Um, um, okay, let's look at, at that. I'm shocked. Um, Eight of Swords, and I got it up. Uh, and you feel like, see, this is the cards I'm looking at. Um, you feel sometimes that you're locked and even if you know the way out you feel like blinded and locked within and with this goes 17 17 17 17 that's the star yeah because 18 is the moon sorry 16 is the tower 17 is the star yeah 17 so the star uh just because of your creativity <laughs> jesus <laughs> just because of your creativity and how um you make things work uh when it comes to your family and 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 so on sometimes imprisons you um this can be about jail going to jail this can be about putting your feelings in 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 uh, in a gel because of the situations so um so yeah that's um, the narrative spreads and um let me know don't forget to write underneath how you felt about it how you could recognize this and um yeah until the next spreads blessings and see you later